A Lakewood woman says she just wanted to get a new car battery. Instead, she says Jiffy Lube mechanics hit on her and then used her private information on file to send flirtatious texts. She reached out to our consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen and when she didn't get a response from Jiffy Lube. This Littleton Jiffy Lube off Wadsworth for about is where Sydney Green has had her car serviced for about five years. So where did this happen? Um, just right up front there. But she tells us her visit this month will be her last. She went for an oil change and a new battery, but says the Jiffy Lube mechanics wanted something else. Said that I was super pretty. He asked if I wanted to see his collections. Um, and asked me if I had a Facebook and I said no to everything and just kind of proceeded to go inside. That only bothered her a little until she picked up her car later and got the first text message. The text had said, is this Sydney with a smiley face? And I said, who is this? Um, and they said, be from Jiffy Lube, smiley face. Don't shoot the messenger, but smiley face. I've never done this smiley face. I just couldn't let it go. LOL, you're absolutely gorgeous. Another text asked about her tattoo. She later learned these were from a second mechanic there who had access to her personal information. It was just super invasive and my first thought was that he had pulled my information from a system that is supposed to have my information private. This sounded familiar and we found a similar story that went viral on social media in 2019. Another Jiffy Lube mechanic sent an unsolicited text. That woman writing back, what is to keep you from going back and getting my address? There are men who stalk, rape, and murder women by getting their information this way. While Jiffy Lube posted then they were taking this issue very seriously, now, years later, Sydney says the company barely responded to her and her father when they reported a similar incident. You never heard back from Jiffy Lube? No, not at all. So, Contact Denver 7 reached out to Jiffy Lube and the franchisee. In an email, they wrote, At Jiffy Lube, we take the privacy of our customers seriously and do not condone this behavior. We sincerely apologize for the inappropriate actions by two of our employees and have taken appropriate steps to prevent this from happening again. Sydney says she never heard about those steps, so to keep this from happening again, she had to speak out. I wanted other women um, to know about what was going on, and I wanted to make sure that this wouldn't happen to anybody else. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline.